My independent novel is On the Road by Jack Kerouac. Jack Kerouac attended Columbia University and he had a very unique style of writing. He liked to call it spontaneous prose. It was literally just pouring out his thoughts onto into novels. Um, he was shaped pretty early in life by death. His brother died at age nine. His childhood best friend died and his father died all very early in life. He did some pretty weird things too. Uh, he was arrested for helping his friend hide the evidence after a murder. Um, after writing on the road, he became a Buddhist. And then after that, he became an alcoholic. <laughs> and then after that, he died of internal hemorrhaging after a week after a group of guys beat him in a bar after he antagonized them. Um, also, random fun fact, in 1991, Johnny Depp bought his raincoat for $15,000. And the book itself is pretty interesting, too. Uh, Jack Kerouac wrote the original manuscript on 120 feet of continuous paper fed into a manual typewriter that he taped together. Uh, and not only that, but he wanted it to be published like that too, so readers wouldn't have to be bothered with turning pages and could just read it how he intended to write it. Spontaneous prose. And last but not least, it appeared on most lists of America's 100th greatest, 100th, 100th greatest novels. And my favorite quote in pretty much the whole book, it's not so much a passage, but a quote. Uh, but why think about that when all the golden lands ahead of you and all kinds of unforeseen events wait lurking to surprise you and make you glad you're alive to see? This quote really speaks to me because it's kind of my main philosophy in life. I just think that your problems are so small compared to all the opportunities in life, all there is to see, all the adventure out there and all the experiences. Your problems just don't really matter in scale to what there is to do in life. I just don't think people should worry about the small things that they typically worry about when there's just like set out, go on an adventure, realize why life is awesome and your problems don't matter. Um, the main theme in this novel is pretty much that although it's important to have destinations, it's truly the journey that matters. It's the people you meet, it's the things you do along the way, it's not what you do when you get there. Jack Kerouac constantly sets out on these adventures thinking that it's the destination that matters, like this is going to change everything, this is where I need to be in life, this is, it's, this is where it's at. And then he finds himself getting that itch to get back on the road and seeking new adventures and he just constantly just gets right back on the road hence the name of the novel. Um, and this book is very similar to my independent novel from last year, which was Travels with Charlie by John Steinbeck. That novel is pretty much about him traveling the country with his dog, Charlie. And they're basically just exploring America, just like Jack Kerouac, just like seeing different lifestyles, different regions of America. And uh, something that's unique about both of these novels is, is that they both incorporate things like counterculture and like philosophical beliefs and political views into their novels. Um, counterculture was more John Steinbeck. He was more focused on civil rights. Like he'd pick up hitchhikers and ask them what they thought about the civil rights issues going on and what they believed and stuff like that. And with Jack Kerouac, it was more philosophical. His character was more someone who uh, was trying to like express his non-conventional views on life and uh, that the fact that he believes that rebelling against societal norms is honestly necessary. And of course, just both of the novels are just setting out on the road for adventure. And that brings me to my next novel that it relates to, Into the Wild, um, from last year. Um, both of those is just, they're, they're just trying to live a minimalistic lifestyle and they're rebelling against social norms, of course. Both of them are just trying to live primitively and differently from everyone else and thinks that that is the way to live, to seek happiness. And another thing that's uh, unique about these two novels is that a lot of the information that they obtain are through writers and authors and philosophers like Thoreau, people like that. And... Um, Another also unique thing about them is that traditional responsibilities and limitations are pretty much completely regarded in favor of the promise of new sites, new people, new experiences. They'll they'll drop their family in a heartbeat. They don't care. They're completely selfish, which I I don't disagree with. It's it's their life. They should do what they want, but they're very this is what they need to do. It doesn't really matter about anyone else. 
Um, and the most important thing about these novels that they have in common is that they both realize that in the end, it's all about the journey, not the destination. Like Chris McCandless said, happiness is only real when shared. They realize that it is not just about them. It is about what they do with other people and what they see and who they meet and things they do to get there, not just when they get there. And I think this book is very, 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 very important for everyone to read in 2018. I think that nowadays it's so less common for young people to explore America and search for new adventures and get out of their comfort zone. Everyone's kind of stuck in that one spot that they think that they should be stuck in and are, are only doing things that they see other people do and that they think are right because other people are doing them. And I think that this book inspires people to live unconventionally and to search for new experiences and to get out there. And it shows how much there is to see in this country. Like, there's so much to see. And he just goes out west and he sees everything. And this shows you exactly what he's seeing and what he's experiencing and the different lifestyles out there. And I just think there's a lack of freedom and, freedom and adventure within people. And this novel really changed that. It'll make people seek new adventures and new experiences.